Ruth Mary Rogan Benarito, January 12, 1916, October 5, 2013, was an American chemist and inventor known for her work related to the textile industry, notably including the development of wash and wear cotton fabrics. She held 55 patents. The Great Depression era surrounded Ruth Benarito's early years and when she eventually received her B.S. in chemistry, one in five Americans was unemployed. Benarito's original interest preceding chemistry was math, however, she did not want to foster a career as an actuary simply estimating probabilities for insurance companies, which led her to study chemistry. In 1948 she received her doctorate degree from the University of Chicago, where she conducted physical chemical research under the direction of Thomas F. Young. Her Ph.D. dissertation was titled Activity Coefficients of HCl in Ternary Aqueous Solutions. She left her job as an assistant professor in Newcomb College in 1953 to work at the USDA Southern Regional Research Center of the U.S. Department of Agriculture in New Orleans, where she spent most of her career. At the USDA she worked in the intravenous fat program of the Oil Seed Laboratory, and in 1955 she was promoted to project leader. In 1958 she was promoted to acting head of the Colloid Cotton Chemical Laboratory, and in 1959 she became the research leader of the Physical Chemistry Research Group of the Cotton Reaction Laboratory. Benarito completed a postdoctoral fellowship in 1972 in biophysics at Tulane University. Still at Tulane, she was an adjunct professor from 1960 to 1981. During that time, she also worked as a lecturer at the University of New Orleans. In later years, while she was researching cotton fibers, Benarito taught classes part-time at Tulane University and at the University of New Orleans. She retired from the USDA in 1986 but continued to teach part-time at Tulane and the University of New Orleans. Laboratory equipment Benarito's research led to the development of glassy fibers that proved useful in the manufacture of laboratory equipment. Method of feeding seriously wounded soldiers Besides her contribution to textile industry, during the Korean War, Benarito developed a way to give fat intravenously to patients who were too sick to eat a method used to feed seriously wounded soldiers. Awards she received are 1964 USDA Distinguished Service Award. 1968 Federal Woman Award. 1968 Southern Chemist Award. 1970 Garvin Medal.1971 Southwest Regional Award of American Chemical Society. 1981 Honorary Degree, Tulane University. 1984 Woman of Achievement at World's Fair. 2002 Lemelson MIT Lifetime Achievement Award. 2008 National Inventors Hall of Fame